Welcome to the party, pal. You're for the Neighborhood Master Chaos. Back with you once again. We are one day away from October 1st. And my home oh. haunt, my yard haunt, is far from ready. So today, we are going to uh, hit the pedal to the metal. Basically, we're going to decorate the yard all today. I hope you'll uh, join me on this adventure because we're going to go full on Halloween. And by the way, I'm in my garage here. I got all my crazy stuff here. I'm going to show you in a second. But did I ever show you... My giant 300 poster? Look how big that is. It's up on the roof. Actually, it's a little warped because it's kind of hanging down from the rafters, but that's a really neat collector piece. Currently, this is the status of our yard. Missy Chaos has set up the ghosts here in front of uh, Drag. You know, we've got a couple, a couple tombstones set up here, looking nice. I need to add a few more here. This tombstone here. And then we've got a nice little kind of setup here. You guys saw this at night. This is what you, well, let's not put it that way. That's not your grave, but that's the one you designed. Yeah, and it, it looks like I just Yeah, it's cool. And there's some flowers, and and then uh, we've got a new inflatable to replace the Mickey Mouse. This is, uh, of course, Sam. He's a little, he's a little wrinkly. I'm not sure what's up with the fan there, but this is Sam. This is from Spirit Halloween. So Sam is uh, sharing space with the shark. This is sort of the the view from our front window. And there's Missy Chaos, of course. Say hi. Hey, Missy, hello. So we need to basically fill in this area here with some more graves. We're gonna do that right now. First things first is lighting. Lighting is very important. I'm gonna test these, make sure that they work, and then I gotta hang this guy from the tree in my front. All right, so I've hung up a witch here. I got a little rope contraption here to hopefully keep her away from the hands of uh, of uh, little jerk kids who wanna pull, pull it down. See, I tested it on my jerk kid. <laughs> there is uh, our witch. She faces the street. I apologize for the glare, of course, but she looks quite creepy. Yeah, little master's gonna have some issues with that one. Then we've got our ghost. Yes, you did, so I had to help you out there last minute. But uh, there's our ghost. He faces the street. He's gonna look creepy hanging there. So we've got our uh, our tree here uh, properly spooked out. First piece of lighting is in. This is a blue light. I'll show you what it looks like at night. So this is gonna be shooting across to the eventual cemetery here. Speaking of my cemetery, I should explain how I do this. These are pieces of rebar, and they are stuck in the ground because it gets kind of windy here in October. Uh, this is gonna lock down our tombstone. I've done the same thing over here to these two, as you can see. Rebar, doesn't really matter if it's in an angle, as long as I can tape the uh, tombstone to it, it will be locked, stocked, and ready to rock. Well, please pardon my dirty garage here. We don't really spend a lot of time in here. We eventually want to turn this into a uh, sort of a study slash uh, movie collection uh oh is that my movie collection that i just revealed uh oh i haven't actually shown you this now that i think about it this is my dvd collection these shelves that you're looking at right now these are blockbuster shelves this is my vault um it is outside of the house because i just don't have room for it anywhere else this is my vault of movies i've got my anime on the top and then alphabetically all my dvds here i guess what are the dvds i guess that i've retained and have not sold off i've got a lot of Rare items here, the Bava sets. How long and does it take to like, redo all of this alphabet? Alpha, how long did it take to, to alphabetize everything? Yeah. A long time. <laughs> Far too long and uh, it's something I probably don't want to do ever again. Oh, and uh, anytime soon. I'll do it eventually. But VHS? And I do have a couple of VHS here as well. Yes, I do have a couple of VHS here and there that I've uh, collected throughout the years. Oh, I've got Night Train to Terror there on VHS. I didn't actually even know I had that. Interesting. But uh, yes, we're not here talking about uh, physical media today. One day, we'll peruse the shelves. Right now, we're talking rebar, the stuff that we need to make a cemetery pop. I'm gonna get, well, I should take these out first and grab some more. We're gonna put out at least, at least, wah, 10 tombstones. What the hell? How did that get stuck to that? Okay, anyway. Hi, Daddy. It's actually me. And this is a little surprise for you while you're editing. I just want to let you know that you're an amazing daddy and I love you so much and I'm really thankful for you 
And that's all. You can delete this. I just wanted you to know. Mwah. Love you. The eaves here of my house are a little boring, so I'm going to spook them up a little bit. Ooh, and voila, it looks a little, little creepier here. I even got this freaky looking dude. He's old, he's been around for a while, but uh, he, uh, he kinda, kinda works better being all ripped up and raggedy like that. I think he looks even more frightening. Okay, I don't know what color light this is, but it's gonna go here in the corner. So uh, currently I've got uh, three points of light hitting the front of the graveyard. I should probably get started on the graveyard itself. Okay, that sticks in the ground like that. Well, uh, okay, I'm supposed to aim that way. We're putting body parts all over the yard. We also have the strobe light set up. I hope it's powerful enough. It's gonna be hitting these guys. We'll see what that looks like at night, but uh, I'm excited to see this, uh, this thing lit up. So the kids have decorated tombstones. You want to show us, uh, Missy? So my Let's see. So it oh, was nice. White, and um, it, I just painted the skeleton a little bit more white, and yeah. then I also kind of like faded it into a gray. Uh -huh. So that I also painted this, and then obviously, as you can tell, the I roses. painted the roses as well. Beautiful. And uh, then I also have a skull head, which a I'm skull also head right there. trying to put. Um, he works, but he's battery—he's battery operated. But uh, I don't know—he's old. Okay, little master, you want to show so, us yours? Mine um, has both. Just so it looks like it's his birthday. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. They're very dry. They are. It looks More. creepier that way. What's his name? Um, Bob. Bob, and you painted some blood on the tombstone yeah, there. Yeah, and then um, that's just like um, just like a creepy thing. A creepy thing. Perfect. And then it looks like I just buried him. Like, oh, um, be careful. You're going to put hands there? I'm going to put hands, but um, they're not ready right now. Gotcha. <laughs> Missy Chaos has just put on a little added decoration to our skulls in here. Our skull, I should say. I think it makes it more festive. Yep. Little Master is dressing the ghosts here as aliens as well. Now, the next step is uh, more tombstones. I've got my rebar. However, I only have this little hammer. I don't know where my bigger hammer is. I need to go to Home Depot, I think, to grab a... Uh, Stronger hammer to make the rebar pounding a little easier. And then I want to put up my uh, archway. But I need uh, these little guys. But this this is all dried up. I need to get some fresh ones for both sides so this doesn't fall over on people. And while I'm at it, I might pick up another light. I've got lights there and a light there. But I might pick up some more light. And then I can do the cemetery. What a lovely thing to find here at Home Depot. A needle on the ground. The Halloween team has retreated to Home Depot. We are looking for a new hammer, some twisty ties, maybe uh, maybe some added lighting, some uh, other decorating touches to add. The sun is fading fast here, so we need to work fast, grab our supplies. I'm not gonna show you too much of the Halloween decorations, but we'll take a peek inside, see what they got, and maybe we will uh, explore that a little bit, heard, <laughs> a little bit better. I've heard the Halloween decorations are good, so we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. All right, into Home Depot we go. Here at Home Depot, I don't see anything set up for Halloween uh, over there, but I did find a big wall of inflatables. This guy is crazy big. Yeah, he is 13 feet, giant. Well, the biggest guys are 12. Yeah, they're all, they're all pretty big except for these guys. And then there's these pathway marker guys. Oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. And that's all we see so far. I don't see anything else. This whole area is being cleared out for, uh, you guessed it, Christmas stuff. This whole area. And I finally found the Christmas, uh, the Halloween stuff, I should say. It's here. Very little section. It looks like they're planning to move stuff out already. I mean, the season's not even begun. What the hell, man? Talk about disrespect. So maybe I'll show you a quick tour of the Home Depot area. What happened? He's not working? Looks like they even unplugged all the props. Like these three guys moved together. Let's see what else. Oh, there's this big guy. This is that big guy. Does he move? Hello? No, he doesn't. There's a little werewolf dude here. Hello? What do you do, man? Oh, nice. That's cool. Oh, he talks too. There's like a tree. Wow. Got cut by this thing. Watch out. Sharp. Black skeleton. That's very creepy. Like he was burned to death. Oh, he does work. Let's see. 
Well, oh no, he doesn't. Well, this is disappointing. He is a hundred bucks, so that's actually a good deal for a pretty big prop. I wonder what the. Oh no, that archway is separate. Hundred and fifty for this archway. That's kind of cool. Chainsaw. They do have an alien prop today. See if it works. Oh, good. And his chest lights up there. Does he move around or is he just lights? That's cool. And you got these little guys. Clown steaks. Oh, these uh, plague doctors. Dark and oh, I love it. Okay, what else do they got here? Scarecrow. Light up eyes. Oh, look at that cute little alien guy. Like a tinsel light up guy. Let's see. Oh man. Look at it. Clean it up. Some skeletons over here. Why are they getting rid of it? It's like they're getting rid of it already. Stuff's already on sale? No, same price. A rotten pumpkin. You got a little rotten oh, pumpkin light? Light. Ooh, rotten Whoa. pumpkin. Nice. Oh, this is so nice. Like, oh, that is really neat. Fiber optics inside. Ooh. How much is this? Too much. They have a couple of lighting elements here. I am going to grab the Ghost Flame LED Light Show. 15 color combos. Ooh, <laughs> pathway marker there. Uh, decorative Halloween casing and delivers an inferno 15 blazing flame like projections. Controlled by remote control, that's interesting. What else you got? Ooh, beautiful. Man, I'm kind of bummed. I mean, it's it's not even October. And it looks like the, the employees are moving shit out already. What the heck, man? But yeah, they got pumpkins, they got some tombstones, they got some, I don't know what the heck that is, doll heads. Look at that, there's like, a, what is that? There's like a basket of doll heads? Why? Basket of doll heads. And we're home. I'm disappointed by the Home Depot Halloween section, but never mind. I'm gonna make my own. I've got a nice heavy hammer, 28 ounces to be exact, and I'm gonna make this graveyard happen. All right, here's the rebar. Here's the new hammer. All it takes now is a lot of elbow grease. Okay, pal, the sun is about to set. You can see the moon already peeking out over the trees. And a, well, that's a good shot. Helicopter. Probably some more paparazzi trying to see what I'm filming. As we lose the light, just want to show you real quick during the day. Uh, little master wanted me to hang up these pumpkins here. I zip tied them so no little uh, jerks try to take the baskets. The cemetery is looking amazing. It is uh, so far at the moment complete. I thought I had more tombstones, but I'm, I'm missing a few that I, I can't find. So for now, this is the main cemetery. Then over here is another part of the cemetery. Some more pumpkins and a little cemetery thing right here. This gate is on year round, but we got a little cemetery with the ghosts and uh, Dracula off in the distance. Strobe lights hitting. Right now I'm gonna play with the lighting and then the next image you see will be the full show lit up and night has fallen missy chaos is with me now i'm going to give you a tour of the uh i would say close to final uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. close to final yard hunt it's crazy that we only did that in like one day yeah yeah we definitely uh we, we definitely uh worked our fingers to the bone yeah pun intended let's uh take a look at the haunt switch to michael myers mode <laughs> as we approach the house my neighbors have their lighting up, so. We're not gonna get completely dark, but uh, this will give you a good sense of what it looks like. That's the tombstone I decorated earlier today. Yeah, that's Missy's tombstone there. Not for real though. But no, not for real. <laughs> we hung up some spider webs here. This is of course, Mistress Chaos's domain. She's really good with the spider webs. And we have a blue light that'll come on. Oh, there it is. Revealing our green skeleton in the trees and our very freaky web our spider hiding here ready for a new victim and we got another little purple light here that just sort of uh, gives a little ambiance to uh, to drag here 
I do apologize for the focus. Here is the blue light that uh, I've put here on this side of the cemetery. And there's a bit of a uh, bit of a strobe light, sort of giving a little bit of flavor. I might might add a second strobe light here. I'm not done lighting wise, but uh, there's the ghosties with uh, Drac. So there's that blue light that'll it'll strobe every once in a while, kind of comes on and off. I think it's kind of a creepy uh, a lighting effect there. Apparently Sam has had too much to drink. I'm not sure why he's tilting off to the side. He does have kind of a little motor, so maybe that's the case. Come on, Sam. Wake up, pal. Yeah, are you sad because it's, it's, it's only the beginning of October? I know, I know, I know, I know. Come on. Come on. It's okay. All right, maybe. Uh, uh, you can rest. You can, you, you can take some time off. You know, this pumpkin storm light that I thought would be amazing on the house is so small. It's such a narrow beam that I, what I've had to do is kind of just stick it onto uh, uh, one of these flagpole things and aim it on the ground here in front of my house, right by the, uh, the shark. And uh, yeah, it's a little accent light. It's really nothing special. I really wish it would cover the whole house, but it's so, so narrow of a beam that it's it's almost pathetically useless, but whatever. I know it's only the uh, first night of October and I don't want to get ahead of myself, but uh, well, Halloween should be celebrated every day of October in my opinion. For some reason this guy got unplugged. We have a Jack Skellington here with broken fingers. I don't know what the hell is happening there. Uh, but uh, Jack Skellington, a little tombstone, keeping the ghost company there. This is that new light I bought. The, uh, the hell is it called? Spectral Storm or something? Spectral light. It changes colors. Comes in a little remote. I could do different uh, kind of lighting schemes. Let me try red. Ooh, or orange. Orange, I should say. Orange looks nice. You see, it definitely changes the mood of the cemetery. Matching the green there. Kind of a bluish. That's pink. Try with, I think I'm gonna. Nah, that's too. I like blue. I think I'm gonna stick with blue. It's very eerie. And of course, my footsteps are still at work here, and I still have a dead footstep, but that's okay. I love this effect. I think this is really a fun, fun effect for Halloween. I don't know. I know it's not a huge deal. I know it's not the biggest thing you've ever seen, probably, but for me and my kids, we're happy with it. I enjoy it. it gives it a little life. To the neighborhood we are the only house on, on the block decorated which is sad but true it gives the whole neighborhood a little fun a little levity you know it's uh it's a weird halloween but i don't want it to be one that goes down the books as the lost halloween i definitely want my kids to enjoy their halloweens as many as they can get well, pal, that'll do it for today. This has been your friendly neighborhood master, Chaos. I appreciate your time, and I appreciate you sharing that time with me. I hope you enjoyed getting ready for Halloween with me. I feel that, uh, for the most part, we are about 90% complete. I may add a couple other points of light here and there. I may add, you know, maybe three to five more tombstones just to kind of bulk up the area a little bit. Um, I thought I had more, but I don't know where they went. Uh, regardless... I'm pretty complete, and I feel like I'm ready to welcome October 1st. Very excited. It's my favorite season, my favorite time of year, for many reasons, of course. Not just because we get to celebrate spooky stuff, but because I get to decorate my house like this, and the neighbors don't complain. So, yay, I get to bring the, out, the inside of my house outside, and uh, I love that. And I hope you enjoyed watching me do so. Um, I don't know what to say about Home Depot. I'm a little disappointed. I don't understand what the hell's going on over there. That's very, very lame. But uh, it is what it is. We will soldier on regardless. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. My name is Master Chaos, and I want to be your best YouTube buddy. The way we do that is you subscribe, and you'll see me tomorrow because I have daily content, sometimes twice daily, and uh, most likely every day of October it's going to be twice daily. I may be doing a, a spooky movie uh, every day, a review on, a, on some new spooky movie. I might be doing that. I think that might be a lot of fun. If you're old here, Welcome back, pal. I missed you. Okay, Home Slice, that is it for today. I wish you a very happy and pleasant good day, good evening, or good night, wherever you are. And remember, your friendly neighborhood, Master Chaos, loves you, cares about you, and always remains to be continued.